Fuck! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to another Pokemon Days. We've got a Ramparados with a Life Orb and Rock Polish out. We've got a Sword Stance Leebani, a uh, really weird built Probo Pass. <laughs> Groundon seems to be our big gun. We've got Durant with Home Claws, and a uh, small Gorgeist, which has Synthesis, Shadow Sneak, Seed Bomb, and Will-O-Wisp. So I think I'm going to switch into that Gorgeist now, fearing the Will-O-Wisp from the Shed Ninja. And although it'll basically cripple him, um, I'll be able to hit the Shed Ninja with Will-O-Wisp and kill it in one turn. Because usually Shed Ninja will run a Focus Sash in order to get like two lives, since it only has one HP. It's quite an annoying poke, uh, especially with its Wonder Guard ability that doesn't allow anything except for super effective damage to hit it at all. And my Romperados does have Crunch, but I don't think that um, I want to take a Will-O-Wisp right now. <laughs> so this guy's taking a while to pick his thing. Maybe he, he went AFK, he's going potty or something, but we can enjoy some nice music. Uh, fuck yeah, thanks again. To Yatan for the art. Uh, this is just a trainer battle remix, but it's like a rock remix. Yeah, son! I really like it a lot. You know what I don't like? A minute of nothing happening in this video. Come on, buddy! You gotta do the thing now! Fuck, we're here! We're gonna we're gonna do it! Jesus Christ. I I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. There we go. Into the gore, guys. He switches out as well into an Uxie. Wow. That was a lot of anticipation for nothing. Here comes the Will-O-Wisp. Oh, yeah. Heat it up, baby. Get that rock, son. <laughs> he yawns, but my gore, guys, has insomnia, so that's not going to work for him. I'll go ahead and launch a seed bomb now. Uh, same type attack should hit pretty well. 24% is not bad, especially with the burn. We'll be able to 4 hit KO. Let's see what kind of damage Shadow Sneak does. It is 20%, which is pretty good uh, because it is a priority move. So here comes another Will-O-Wisp because he heal belled off my last burn, which ain't cool. I need this guy to stay burned because he got them leftovers and I don't like it none. And there's really not a whole lot of other status on my team aside from uh, Probo Pass, I think. So, we'll just throw the burns out there, it's fine. Looks he's almost dead anyways. Here comes another Seed Bomb, Shadow Sneak, Seed Bomb, Shadow Sneak, Seed Bomb, Shadow Sneak. Say it five times fast. Shit's crazy! He hits me with the Psychic. A couple Psychics for pretty good damage. But, uh, I think I'm gonna be able to Shadow Sneak in here and nap the kill on the Ooxie. Gorgai's small is pretty fast, um, but he does lean towards the bulkier side of pokes. Uh, I personally don't usually run small gore guys, so run a large one for sure because it makes a much better tank than it does a sweeper unless it's past some stat boosts, but hell, even a Magikarp can sweep with some stat boosts. <laughs> so here's the Shadow Sneak, boom, oopsies down, first poke, that's, that's a good thing. I hope he doesn't send in that Shed Ninja because if it has Shadow Sneak, um, it could be troublesome. But he probably won't because he knows that I've revealed it. And Shed Ninja's probably slower than Small Gorgeist. I'm not sure about that, but Small Gorgeist is faster than the large one. So, uh, yeah. I I'd wager some money on that. That's an alright bet. Alright. This guitar guy is really picking his moves carefully. I will say that much. Which is okay with me. As long as you don't, like, break the timer, which I started a little while ago. Here comes a Miss Magus, which is just fine. Shadow Sneak, I don't really care if Will-O-Wisp happens. I could synthesis up, but uh, that would have given him basically a free substitute. Since I'm keeping the pressure on, going very, very offensive, which is how I like to play Pokemons, um, he doesn't get a free substitute and he's down to half health. So, I think I'm gonna, I don't know, Durant looks good. Uh, Looks like Miss Magus is going to be faster than just about anything I can bring in. So, 
I will bring in the ground on, I suppose, because with his red orb, he will, he'll gain a fire type, which doesn't allow him to be burned. And he has stealth rocks, which uh, I can set up and prevent that Shedinja from ever coming into the battle, ever, ever. So that'll be nice. Basically a free, a free kill, um, unless he switches on this turn, fearing the stealth rocks, which is something that I might do, especially since Miss Magus doesn't have anything set up. I'm... I really like Nasty Plot, Miss Magus. Dazzle and Gleam. Oh, fucking fire resists fairy. That's right. It's not strong against fairy, but it resists it. Okay. I usually like a Nasty Plot, Miss Magus. It just hits harder. Miss Magus lacks uh, some punch, as you can see there. Groudon is pretty bulky, but um, it really should have been able to punch through a little harder than that, in my opinion. And it would if it had a Nasty Plot behind it. So he gets the crit there, my Groudon goes down, unfortunately. That's a rough one. Um, I guess it's time for Livani! She is slower, but I do have the knockoff, so hopefully I'll be able to eat whatever he has to throw at me, even after the stealth rock damage, and nail the knockoff. It's uh, a dangerous prospect, but once again, that's kind of how like we play this game. Just a little dangerously. That's right. Austin Powers instead here. I like to live dangerously. I also like to live dangerously. There's the Shadow Ball from the Miss Magus. Knock off, knock off, knock off kills. That is wonderful. I don't think I'll have time to set up a sword stance for Livani, but uh, whatever else comes in should be slower, because Livani's a relatively fast poke. Um. There's a lot that it's weak to, though. Flying and fire, and that's already two, four times weaknesses. Uh, ice is a two times weakness. That's gonna suck. Um, 193 speed, I have 200 speed. I'm gonna knock it off. Whatever it has, leftovers, that's fine. Kills me with an ice beam. Whatever. Job is done, Levani. Nice try. Uh, now Durant, who I was basically trying to set up as the sweeper, but he's not revealing many pokes to me. He seems to be hoarding his secrets. I'm gonna set up a Hone Claws with Durant, and Durant also has Hustle, which increases damage by 20%, but uh, makes it miss by 10%. But the miss is negated by Hone Claws, which is really nice. And it also ups the accuracy of Stone Edge, which I don't think we have, but if I built this Durant, it probably would have Stone Edge. So, I don't think Kyurem can hit me for anything, really. Maybe it has Earth Power, but Ice Beam and any Dragon move is resisted by Steel. So, Durant's looking in pretty good shape. I think he is going to get a boost here. And this guy had better hurry up, or I'm going to shit a dick. <laughs> Fuck! I need to pull out my guitar for one of these videos. Let me tell you what. Oh, here him, you big bastard. He's got like two of the best offensive types, but also probably the worst defensive types currently in the game. So here's my home clause. He goes for the roost, which is absolutely beautiful. I just proved that I'm faster than him, and I think I will be able to kill it with Iron Head. Boom! Body bag, bitch! <laughs> Oh, Durant. He's just so fast. They call him Kevin Durant. I don't think it's named after that. I think it's just a durable ant. Oh, look at that Shedinja. Bye, Shedinja! <laughs> oh, shit. He sends in the Manic trick. I should be able to eat through it with a uh, Life Orb, Hustle, and a Home Claws boost if I go for X Scissor. Oh, but he intimidates me, so maybe not. Yeah, fuck. Ouch! Overheat! Durant is out of there. Fucking good run, but not quite enough. We're in some trouble here. All I have is this fucking Probo Pass that I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with it. Um, Volt Switch might heal Manectric. Flash Cannon might not do much. Toxic won't kill it this turn. Uh, Pain Split is gonna hurt me, so I'm gonna go for the the Steel move and see if it if it can do enough damage. I really, really pray that it can. Um, and maybe even this Manectric will do some damage to me and I'll be able to pull off a Pain Split 
on the next poke that comes in. So there's the Thunderbolt, only 14% damage. Quite pathetic, yes. And his last poke is a Golduck! Hello, little Golduck! That's adorable. And so, here comes some Toxic for the Golduck. I could uh, Volt Switch into Rumperados, but yeah, fearing the Scald and the Burn. Fuck yeah, good thing I didn't switch. And so, I think I'm just gonna kind of fodder the Provo Pass. I'll Pain Split if I'm able, but yeah, Scald's probably gonna kill me. And he gets a crit. Dude, this guy's got some fucking skill. Alright, Ramparados with a fucking little bit of Stealth Rock damage. Ah, I could go straight for the Head Smash, but I think I'm gonna Rock Polish up first. Just, uh, to live dangerously. Yes. And I live, don't get the burn. If I can hit the Head Smash, I fucking got it. Oh my god, this is down to the wire. However this goes, I hope you've enjoyed. This has been Poke Mondays. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you have enjoyed, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. BOOM, BITCH! <laughs> and look at that. Double KO. Fantastic. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.